The trident is the most unique weapon in Minecraft, but also one of the hardest items to get in the game. In this video, I'll give you all the information you need to know to easily get the trident. Tridents are dropped by drowns. In Java Edition, 6.25% of drowns will spawn with tridents, and then an 8.5% chance of dropping it. This means that on average, you will get one trident for every 188 drowns you find. If you use a looting three sword, then that becomes one trident for every 139 drowns. In Bedrock Edition, you have it a lot easier. Without looting, you will get a trident for every 27 drowns, and with looting three, you will get a trident for every 18 drowns. The question now becomes how to find drowns, and there's actually four ways, of which only three work, and I would recommend two. When a zombie goes underwater, if its head stays underwater for more than 30 seconds, it will start converting into a drowned. After another 15 seconds, the conversion will be complete. However, converted drowns are never equipped with any items, so they aren't useful to us. Both in Java and Bedrock Edition, a certain number of drowns might spawn during the generation of underwater ruins. These drowns don't despawn, but also won't respawn, so you will only find them the first time you visit those ruins. So, there's no reason to stay at ruins once you've dealt with the drowns there. Oceans are the most reliable way of finding drowns. In Java Edition, drowns will spawn in oceans at least six blocks below sea level, so the deeper the ocean, the better. They also require a light level of zero to spawn, which means you should look for them at night. In Bedrock Edition, they have a population cap, so that there can't be more than five drowns at the same time in an ocean, so you should kill them even if they don't have tridents. You should hunt for drowns in oceans at night, and keep moving. You can find some extra drowns in ocean ruins. Drowns also spawn in rivers, and in higher rates than in oceans. However, as rivers are significantly smaller than oceans, it will still be harder to find them. In Bedrock Edition, you can find a maximum of two drowns at the same time in a single river. They will also only spawn with a light level of zero, so you still have to look for them at night. Finally, you can also find drowns in dripstone caves, also with a higher chance than in oceans. However, it's hard to find a good dripstone caves biome to farm drowns. In case you don't, just stick to oceans. Make sure you're always using a looting three sword when looking for drowns. You could also build a farm using turtle eggs, but that would take more time than just looking for drowns. Now that you have your tridents, the only ways to repair them are either combining them with an anvil or using mending. You should always add mending to your tridents. You really only need two, as there's only two ways you can go with the enchantments. Tridents have four exclusive enchantments. Impaling increases the damage dealt to aquatic mobs, and its maximum level is five. In Bedrock Edition, it's slightly better, as the damage increase is applied to all mobs underwater, not just aquatic mobs. It isn't very useful, but it will deal a lot more damage to Guardians, for example. Without Impaling, it takes 10 throws to beat an Elder Guardian. With Impaling 5, you only need 4. Loyalty will make the Trident come back to you after you throw it. Its maximum level is 3. The higher the level, the faster the Trident will come back, and it really makes a difference. This enchantment is a must-have for throwing the Trident. However, it won't work if you throw your Trident into the Void. Channeling will produce lightning strikes when thrown at a mob, but only during a thunderstorm. It only works if you hit your target. Its maximum level is 1. Riptide will keep you from being able to throw the trident. However, it will give you a dash that you can use in water or when it's raining. Its maximum level is 3. This dash will deal damage to enemies and can also be used to fly with the elytra if it's raining. You can also add sharpness to a trident with an anvil, but you can't combine it with impaling. Obviously, you can also add unbreaking and mending to your trident. You can't combine Riptide with loyalty, and neither with channeling. So, you can either go for a trident with Riptide, or for a trident with loyalty and channeling. You can add impaling to both of them. And this is everything you need to know about tridents. Tridents are one of the most interesting items in the game, and probably the best weapon thanks to its enchantments. However, a good contester are crossbows. You can do very interesting stuff with them and I show you all of them in this video right here. Thanks for watching.